Welcome back guys to another video with the espresso doc. Today we're gonna be talking about the most common ways to make coffee at home. Whether you're in a rush or you're just tired of spending hundreds of dollars per month on Starbucks, we've got you covered. I'm gonna show you six different ways you can make coffee at home, starting from the simplest one and the most common one, instant. Moving to the traditional Italian mocha, French press, pour over filter, the famous Nespresso pods machines, and the most advanced one, the espresso machine for espressos, lattes, cappuccinos, and etc. Okay, so starting with the most common one, I'm pretty sure most of you guys watching already know how to make instant coffee. I'm gonna share my delicious recipe. So let's go. Okay, so you're gonna start by warming up 30 to 40 milliliters of water to around 90 degrees Celsius. Use one to one and a half teaspoon of instant coffee. Pour your hot water over the coffee so it can dissolve. Use a milk frother to mix it. Pour some ice in your coffee. And finally, some milk. You can add sugar afterwards, any other type of sweeteners, or some people like to add chocolate syrup or caramel syrup. That depends on you. Moving on with our second drink that's made with the traditional Italian pot, the mocha pot. It's also referred to as the stovetop espresso. Even though it's uh, very similar to espresso in terms of in intensity and flavor, it's not technically an espresso. The distinction is mainly due to the brewing process and the pressure involved. Making coffee with the mocha pot is it's very simple. Just first thing you have to do is fill up your pot right below your valve. So up to here. I'm going to use freshly ground or pre-ground espresso. Is a good rule of thumb is if you don't have a scale, is just pouring enough espresso until you have like a small little hill of coffee, then top it. You can close the upper part, screw it down, and you're ready to put this on the stove. You're gonna put your mocha pot on the stove open the lid and turn your stove on medium to low heat. Once coffee starts coming out, you can close the lid. And once you hear your pot steaming, that means it's done. You can take it off of the stove and pour your coffee. You wanna pour out the whole coffee so that it doesn't sit in the steaming hot pot and burn. Okay, moving on to French press. So again, you want to start off by warming up a big cup of water around 350 to 400 milliliters. Warm the water to around 90 to 95 degrees Celsius just before boil. So the ratio of coffee to water in a, a French press is 1 to 15, which means for a 400 milliliter French press, we're going to have to use around 20, 20 something grams of coffee. As a good rule of thumb, if you don't have a kitchen scale, you can use a tablespoon, which holds around seven grams of coffee. So you can use three tablespoons of coffee. One, two, three. You wanna pour your hot water. And fill it up just up to here and then you want to stir your coffee for around 30 seconds you want to leave it for four minutes okay once four minutes have passed you can start pressing down your coffee with the plunger but i found that uh, doing it this way there's a lot of sediment and coffee grounds in your cup after you pour it so what I prefer is to use one or two of these 
paper filters for filter coffee. So I put it one on top of the other, put it on the French press, and then I start pressing down for a much cleaner cup of coffee. You want to go nice and slow so that coffee doesn't spill over and for an even extraction. Next we have pour over coffee. This is another very easy way to make coffee at home. First you want to start off by bringing 300 milliliters or, or 10 ounces of water to boil. Like with most of the other methods, the ratio here is also going to be 1 to 15. So for this cup, which is around 10 ounces, you're going to need around 18 to 20 grams of coffee. Okay, so once you brought your water to boil, we're gonna warm up our filter. Dispose of that water. Put around 20 grams of coffee, which is around three tablespoons. And then slowly in circular motions, you're going to pour over your coffee. You're going to then wait for it to drip out and repeat the process a couple more times until you've poured your entire boiled water. And that's it. This is how to make pour over coffee or filter coffee. Okay, so another very popular and common ways of making coffee at home is the uh, pods espresso machines. Most of these machines work in a similar fashion. They pierce the pods and at uh, around 19 bars of pressure, they extract the coffee, except this one. This is a relatively new machine. They've released it, a, I think, a couple of years ago. It uses these types of pots. They're kind of uh, different from the regular pots you see for other Nespresso machines. And the only difference is that this machine uses a trademark centrifusion technology to uh, spin the pot very rapidly and mix it with the uh, water, with the hot water. To produce a very rich crema. So the steps are pretty similar to other pods machines. So it's basically turning it on, warming it up, put the pot in, close it, lock it, and press the button to extract your coffee. First you make sure you have water in your water tank in the back. After the machine has been warmed up, you open it, Put the pot in, you close it, you lock it, put your espresso cup below, and you press the one cup button. So the last and my favorite way to make coffee is with an espresso machine. I've got the Breville Barista Express machine, but there is a ton of different options with a grinder, without a grinder, automatic or, or manual. Um, you're going to have to pick one depending on your budget and your preference. This is one of the best home espresso machines for around six or 700 bucks. 
you can I'll, I'll leave a link down below I highly recommend this I have a review made for this machine on my channel that you can check that out depending on if your machine has a grinder or not you're gonna have to buy either whole beans of coffee or pre-grounded coffee if you use pre-grounded coffee you can skip the first step which is gonna be getting the right grind size so before you begin you're gonna have to make sure to check your water tank pour some fresh water in okay then depending mostly on the roast of the coffee you're gonna have to determine how fine or coarse you grind your coffee the one that I have here is a lighter roast which means I'm gonna have to grind this one a little finer okay so for the amount of coffee this machine so each machine is different this machine and this porta filter requires 18 grams of coffee if you don't have a scale you can just pour extra coffee and then shave off the top once we have the coffee ready tamp it make sure to tamp it evenly hold your tamper like a doorknob press hard but not too hard and now our puck is ready to go if you've got a pressure gouge you can monitor your pressure we are, we are aiming for something around the 12 o'clock If the pressure was off, here's a quick photo that can help adjust your next shot accordingly. That's it guys, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button below. And if you want to see more coffee related videos, subscribe to my channel and until next time, peace.